What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video on learning uh, Java. My name is QDS Dani and you guys are watching my channel Quaeun. Alright, so in the previous uh, video we have seen how we jump, our uh, how we count in uh, even even mode, our, uh, if you put a one, you can uh, go in uh, old mode, so you can uh, you can jump this one. So in this video, in this video we're gonna talk uh, about something called uh, nested forward loop. So if you're looking here, nested uh, nest in plain English means uh, a bird nest or uh, something that looks uh, looks like a deep or something. So you can make like a forward loop exactly like a nest, but uh, it's a loop within uh, it's a forward loop within forward loop. Or uh, if you have uh, uh, nested if that uh, we discuss like if else so if you have a if then uh, there is going to be another if inside that if you can have uh, you can, now sometime you guys see the two layer and even sometime you guys going to see the three layer and that's what the if else comes in in very very handy when it becomes uh, too large so that's for if but it does uh, for for loop we can uh, do exactly the same ones so we can copy this one and for example if we copy this one and uh, we can uh, put another loop uh, within this loop so for example now we have uh, two loop say for example if you put this one one and this one say for example 10 and uh, this one we do i plus plus and uh, say this one if if this one's i then this one can be j for example our j k for example you can uh, leave it as k so i is less than our 10 20 10 for example then uh, we do i plus plus so here we can uh, do i plus plus or oh, sorry is uh, j uh, we can do j and uh, here we have uh, j so keep in mind you cannot put this one both i because the first loop uh, is i and the second loop is uh, j so j equal to one we can loop through uh, this one so this guy here is a j all right so if you try to say for example comment this guys out and try to run this one from one to ten uh, you can do so by all means if you if you play uh, say for example run then it's going to run and we're going to see that's going to count from uh, uh, 1 all the way to 10 so now you're going to see this one is all the way to 10 so how about we're going to put our second loop for example instead of uh, the numbers we can put a for example uh, something like uh, we can put a star for example so now we're going to see clearly how the uh, for loop runs so we have a two loop and look in here uh, the first loop runs and look in here this loop runs 10 times then it goes to one then the that's a uh, outer loop and this is the inner loop goes again run one two three uh, six seven eight nine ten and the second loop runs uh, the guys here runs and then it runs 10 time so the outer loop for every loop at the outer the uh, inner loop runs 10 time say so now here if uh, this loop which got a star it runs first first this one runs 10 times as we're going to see this star here runs 10 time if you look in here so the star already the inner loop runs 10 time then uh, it updates the first first one then the outer loop runs once and then it runs 10 times then the outer loops runs again the second time so this one the inner loop runs 10 times and the outer loops that's the third third uh, cycle so it goes all the way here till the inner loop reach, reaches to 10 and then the outer loop reaches to 10 and stops because both of them uh, say uh, 10 and 10 so this loop runs goes 10 times then this one runs one time then this goes second time then this one runs then this one goes again on the third cycle then this one goes on the third cycle so this one runs 10 times in every loop so this one runs 10 times then this one runs once then this one runs 10 times then that one the outer loop uh, runs uh, say uh, uh, once so now uh, we, this this guy is here the, this one's outer loop 
so this one is we call it outer loop and uh, what's this guy what's uh, now this guy is here what do you call this one this calls we this this is we call a inner loop inner loop and it's, it's uh, we can use this one for pattern we can use this one for algorithms we can use a lot of uh, subjects so how can we use it for algorithms for example all right so if you want to use it for uh, say uh, multiplication table we can uh, do so if you want to put a stars for example we can uh, put a star say for example now if you want to run this one for example plus plus star star or you can put a say for example plus 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 then uh, you can make like a pattern or something because now you we have seen that one instead of the numbers you can uh, put a plus for example now if you look in here we can make a pattern and uh, we can pick a multiplication table as well so how do we gonna make multiplication table with uh, nested for loop so I'm gonna show you how to go make a multiplication table so as we here you guys observe this one we're gonna do it from uh, say from 1 to 10 or you can uh, if you want your multiplication table to 12 you can do so so how we're gonna do that is that here this guy is here uh, from we're gonna set it from 1 this is 10 this is gonna increment and this guy is gonna do the same exactly the same ones and here you guys need to remove this guys here so you only need one for example you only need one because uh, both of these operations gonna come in here on ones so here we're gonna remove this guy from here and we're gonna remove this guy from here then we're gonna remove these guys from here so now uh, our loops effectively holding one for example so if you look in here we gonna that's the entire loop because this loop runs inside this loop you don't need the you don't need this uh, block so you don't need a block why we don't need a block because uh, uh, effectively if you for example if you have only one loop for example you don't need then uh, you don't need a, if even if you don't put a block it runs no problem say uh, if I remove this ones and if I remove all it's gonna run the loop is gonna run without a block because the uh, Java assumes that there is a uh, something here there is a block because there is no other for loop but if you have a lot of for loop then you have a problem but because now we don't have anything inside this inner loop that should be fine but should be all by all means so how about if you want to run this say I and want to run this J because they both gonna run at each cycle so now we're gonna come here in uh, inside this uh, system out and we're gonna put a for example uh, a plus uh, like this sign so here we're gonna put an I and we're gonna leave a room here and you guys don't forget your um, concatenation we put another concatenation so I j we put another concatenation and we put a space we put equal to so now our i and j is equal to so now we're going to go on the second part the second part is what's the second part the second part is plus you guys need to put a plus every time you guys need to put a plus because you guys are going to concatenate this one with this one this one with this one and this guys with this guys and finally you guys need to uh, multiply this one so it's going to be going to do i multiply j that's what we're gonna do that's it so with only three lines you guys can create an awesome um, multiplication table with the inner inner uh, for loop so if you guys run and you're gonna see you have your uh, multiplication table if you look in here uh, we are uh, doing the ones table and if you're gonna come here we're doing to the twos table and if you look in here then we're gonna come here onto threes table that's a threes table and uh, if you look in here that's the four table so how this one works if you look in here this is the inner loop the one two three four five that's the inner loop it runs ten times this this the outer loop runs one time so that's a four that's one in one cycle this goes in 10 cycle so this goes in 10 cycle and then updates this one in one cycle so that's how you guys gonna see number four runs 
then it, this one runs 10 times and this gives you the, the actual multiplication table where we put it here that one gives you the multiplication table so this guys do the magic this guys are just for the display so this the inner loop uh, this one this guys runs one, once because we put an I because this guys runs once and if you look in here at the once table if this guy runs once and this guy runs 10 times or whatever you guys gonna set for example if you put a 12 it's gonna run 12 times if you put a 12 here and say for example if you put a 12 here then it's gonna run 12 times so if you run you're gonna have a multiplication table for the 12 so here now uh, if you look in here this is gonna run 12 times this the outer loop is gonna run all the way here then uh, it's, when it's reached 12 it terminates this one then the inner loop is gonna run 12 times and uh, same goes with the second one the second one runs 12 times if you look in here that's uh, 1 times 12 it runs and uh, so this runs from here if you look in here all the way here so that's a second loop and we're gonna have that's the third loop that's a fourth loop and this guy is here is the fifth loop so look in here that's a fifth loop 5 by 12 is uh, 60 and then we have a sixth loop we have a seventh loop we have a eight tables or you can say tables and this comes all the way here then uh, we're gonna have a ninth and eleventh we have a, then eleventh and finally we have uh, the twelfth ones the twelfth ones gonna be here how cool is this so you can make a lot of uh, loops with the uh, for loop but if you guys gonna put it here it's not gonna work if you guys gonna put a block then you guys have a, gonna have a problem so, so we don't put a block because uh, now Java uh, Java sees this one as a one loop hole and this guy is here is gonna see as a nested loop and uh, it's gonna run your uh, algorithm here so this is a good algorithm the best algorithm for you guys if you want to impress someone or if you want to uh, see the multiplication table if you, if you want to practice your mathematical skills this is the best way so all right if you have a problem here say now uh, we have our uh, ones table for example you have uh, one runs all the way to 12 and you're going to see that uh, it's very hard to read for example for you guys say so now you guys going to see here is the table three starts and the table uh, two ends so it would be nice if you guys split this one say for example the table three and table four splits so then out the table three ends and the table four starts and you're gonna don't see any border or anything we can do so there is a trick and if you guys gonna come here put another system out you just put a system dot out dot print ln so put a print and that's that guy is going to should come here as ln because now this loop is going to run uh, whatever the loop is going to do then this guy's then this guy is going to start so this guy is going to give you guys a uh, space in between uh, every loop say for example three stable or four table you just put a system dot out print ln and you're going to see that you are uh, you are you're going to have awesome uh, table so now you're going to see here uh, here like uh, one all the way to 12 and stops here now you're going to see here your loop now you're going to see your threes now you're going to see four table now you're going to see five table now you're going to see six table now you're going to see seven then eight nine ten and eleven and now you're going to see twelve how cool is this so you can you can do so so for example now if you want to put it more uh, uh, say uh, more uh, more classical or uh, you can put a for example print you can put a system dot out say dot print ln and you can put a times table put a times table here or uh, you can put a uh, in take this one out or uh, you can put a system out you can uh, 
copy this one and we can put it three times and here you guys need to put a times table you can do like this so make it more cool so you put a two star here and increase the stars here as well and here increase the stars as well save this one and run and you're gonna see here new cool stuff so here it says uh, times table and your time starts here how cool is this so how about it would be nice if we have uh, say for example uh, we have some mechanism to say if that's one table say for example and we're gonna put a, that's a second table starts like a small header or mini header for every every table three table or four table whatever we can do so so this is the best uh, video for you guys to learn all the nested for loop and the nested for loop is uh, you guys now going to see it's very powerful and it's cool okay so now uh, if you're gonna bring it here say for example we're gonna put one system out print line from here if you copy this guy here and just make sure you're gonna put it here before this loop uh, why do you if you put it after this loop it's not gonna work because this loop is gonna uh, look for the J because these loops are uh, only for uh, for example now I is gonna be here and J is gonna be here if you put any I any other I before this J is not gonna work okay so we're gonna put a uh, little bit separate so you guys can see and so now uh, that's the first loop and this is gonna be i we're gonna put i because we want to see the table number and we're gonna see table uh, make sure you leave a little bit room here or you can put uh, some i's table for example one table or two table three table you can put a uh, say for example here you can put a uh, uh, like small comma and uh, put a plus and uh, you're gonna see the table <coughs> and put s say for example one table our two table or three table or four table or five table or six table whatever table if you want to put a s you can put it here or if you don't want to put a s that's pretty much fine no problem and uh, we're gonna try we're gonna see our uh, one table or two table so we're going to see here now we're going to go all the way on on top we're going to see here one table and the one table starts and the here two table and the two table starts and you're going to see there's three table and the three tables starts and you're going to see four table then five table then six table seven table then eight table then nine table, then ten table, eleven table, and then you're gonna see the twelve table, and finally the outer loop's gonna end. How cool is this? So now you guys effectively build yourself a beautiful uh, times table. So you can you can build it like that, or you can if you guys wanna put it, for example, don't want this one by all means, just get rid of this one, and it works pretty much fine. So now if you run, we're gonna see here, we're gonna see our tables without s's so if you guys don't want and if you guys want to say for example like this our uh, two's table or you can put a say for example one's table or two's table you can put a for example here instead of uh, that one you can put a one plus you can put a multiply and then you can put a plus that guy here that guy there so you can you can put it this way as well so now we're gonna run and we're gonna see with the help of the nested for loop and with the help of uh, concatenation you guys can create something like that so here now you're going to stable you're gonna see three stable and you're gonna see uh, if you put a little bit room here then you're gonna have a uh, room in between the 
your strings here so here now you're going to see all this uh, table ones table two stable then it's going to be three stable then you're going to see how awesome is that that four stable then you're going to see five stable so i'm going to make it a little bit big you're going to see five stable now it's more readable and more good if you want to put a line here underneath you can put a line you can put a line like this no problem it's going to work pretty much fine and if you look so here we have a line now because we have uh, separated uh, the first table times table and we have one stable now we have two stable now we have a three stable now we have four stable five stable we have a six table seven table eight table we have a nine table we have a tenth table and we're going to see eleven stable this guy is here 12 table and we're going to stop you can make it up to 15 if you want up to 20 tables no problem for the computer computer can compute it for you and this is your uh, very good if you guys want to learn algorithms uh, and then uh, when you guys reach advanced levels of Java we're going to show you guys all the way to advanced levels and you guys going to learn algorithms in Java did I say algorithms yes you heard it right you can use Java in algorithms you can use in machine learning so I was pretty much a uh, very very powerful language you can do it with the uh, websites you can do it uh, with uh, mobile phones you can do it with the computers you can do it just about for anything that you can imagine <clears throat> and it's very cool language is uh, object oriented language it means it's got a lot of tools so now you guys imagine the power of Java with just a nested for loop you guys can create it has created an awesome awesome uh, times table in uh, Java so that's how you guys gonna create your uh, times table in uh, Java with the nested for loop and some uh, modification and that in some uh, if you guys a little bit creative then you guys can create awesome uh, say for example uh, shapes you can create a cube you can create a um, triangles so if you guys want me to create something like that just leave your comment and I'll try to make uh, for example shapes for you guys Alright guys, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, Cryowood. Uh, please uh, share this video and spread the word. If you guys have any question or comment, leave in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.